Okay, so I just was asking her, what does this look like? You know, and then she got all over me. I got yeah. over him because look you at what, what he's looks using. Like. You know what it looks he, like. No, he's using a fork inside of this pot that he destroys, like all the other pots that he destroyed. This is why he isn't allowed in the kitchen. <laughs> Wait, and I need to show them this other pot that he burned up. Wow. He did this too. He literally ruins all of our dishes, which is why I try to keep him out of the kitchen. It's ridiculous. Today is truly a Monday. So Friday, I was on the phone for, I'm gonna put my screenshot in here with this company for over an hour and 30 minutes, trying to get someone to come out and fix our fridge because it's still under warranty. We only got it in February, literally. End of February, February 27th, we got the fridge. And it's gone out already. The fridge part isn't working, but the freezer is working. So we just told, we're, we were just told, the repair guy literally just left two minutes ago, that we have to take all the food out, open up the doors, and de thaw the entire fridge, put towels on the floor so that the hardwood isn't damaged because there's gonna be a lot of water. We have to turn off the breaker for the fridge and he's gonna replace the part. However, here's the kicker, the part is on back order. So we don't know how long we'll be without a fridge. Hopefully I can save all of our food. If not, I'm just gonna take it to the park and just give it to people. And yeah, we don't have a deep freezer. We kept saying we were gonna get a deep freezer and now everything is just like on back order and hard to get because of COVID. <sighs> It is truly always something. Oh, and let me tell y'all something else. Also, I um, found out that I might have a red meat allergy. Red meat has been making me extremely sick. I was six now, so six years ago, I didn't eat red meat or pork. All I ate was chicken, turkey, and fish. When I got pregnant, I needed to gain some weight, so I started back slowly eating red meat, and now it's just not agreeing with my body. And I shared it on Instagram. So many other people told me they have gone through the same thing, but it's probably a red meat allergy. I didn't even know that that was a thing, but yeah. So no more red meat for me. It really, really makes me sick. It's taking a toll on me physically and just not worth, you know, the stuff that I be going through when I eat it, okay? Because it, be, it be getting nasty. Like me passing out in front of the kids was just a big wake up call. Like, okay. That's it. I'm cutting it, okay? So, yeah. I'll pull you guys up when I do take out the food. Yeah, I gotta get back to these emails. So, I just wanted to tell y'all, happy Monday. Pull what out? That's gonna be hard, Chris. This fridge is heavy. The way that they put it in, it'll just be easier to just turn off the breaker. It shouldn't. I'm gonna put down a lot of towels. Days. He literally just replaced another lady's. So he said it happens more common to these than, than he would like. Yeah, and he said right now with COVID going on, it's so hard for people to get fridges that they're waiting months out before they can even get a fridge. Yeah, he even said a deep freezer would be so hard to get right now. Uh, whatever it would be easiest, I don't care. I just want the fridge fixed. Okay. Okay, guys, we started. We're moving everything out of the fridge and taking it to our office. Hi, guys. I'm done with tutoring. I'm six years old. Okay, girl. <laughs> taking it out here to the office fridge that we borrowed from our office. And, yeah, we'll return it as soon as we get this thing fixed. So that's what's going on. You guys can watch us if you want. The repairman has already said that the fridge is so warm, it's it's warmer than room temperature. So 
A lot of our food might already be bad and spoiled, so we're throwing that stuff out. And yeah, I mean, what more could we do? Definitely getting a deep freezer after this. Hi, hi. The good thing is, I don't know if I mentioned this, everything is under warranty still, so everything will be covered as far as the repairs. Like this stuff is cold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did you do? <laughs> You're not supposed to be watching me. See? <laughs> The fridge is broke anyway. We might as well sit you inside the fridge. Chris, it would be better to just film it this way. Oh, yeah. Black owned so bomb. Chris, did you pass gas? Did you Thank pass you. gas? Thank you for noticing. You stink so bad. No, it's of course it's the fridge that smells. No. <laughs> she always knows the difference between the stuff. Dad. All of these are probably trash. That's probably what smells. No. <laughs> yeah. Show them. Jerk sauce, the best. I get it from Chicago. Okay, so let me wipe out this fridge, you guys. It's all done. Next, we're gonna move to the freezer and allow this to de thaw. I'll pull you up later tonight, probably. I want to get this done. Hey guys, I just received some package, so I thought I'd add another little unboxing to this vlog. I was into it, so she's telling me the shush. Um, so I'm not gonna open up this box just yet because I'm waiting for the second part to come. This is from Jackie Ina's brand, Move Forever. I bought the satin pillowcase. I bought one satin pillowcase because I feel like, you know, I love my bunnies and all, but I think, you know, sometimes Chris might be like, dang, like she always gonna sit with this bunny on. He probably don't, but in my mind, I feel like that. Chris, how do you feel about my bonnet, AKA Pizza Hut? Let me see. What how, I feel about it? Yeah. Well, like, if I never have to go to sleep with a bonnet on again, where well, you ain't gotta... Well, I like when you wear it. Cause it I was on Twitter. Because I can pretend that, like you're at work and you're doing a Pizza Hut. <laughs> so, yeah. We got a satin pillowcase. I only bought one because he doesn't need one. And I bought it in, I think, cream, but I'm not sure. I also bought all four of the candles and I bought, I think, both the headbands as well. That's her favorite, cream, isn't it? Is cream your favorite? Chris, get away from me. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I have a crook in my neck. I don't know what it is, but my neck is messed up. I know what it is, and I apologize this morning, honey. Stop. <laughs> this box, y'all should already know what it is. Guess which box I'm gonna open up tonight. <laughs> you just won't stop. <laughs> you having way too much fun because the kids are away. <laughs> so I ordered more a bigger size. Anybody like pretzels? These are good. So this one is the two pound one. 
My favorite flavor is the original. And I ate the other two bags so quick. She's telling me. That means she loves her learner though. But yeah, I ate the other two bags so fast, me and the kids. So I had to get a bigger one. That and then I got, I'm not sure what this is. I'm waiting on so many packages to come. So when my packages first come, I always spray them. Hold on, let me show you what spray I use. So I use this spray by Method, it's the anti-back. And I'll let the packages sit by the door on the floor. I'll spray them down and I'll let them sit for like a day or two before I open them. So yeah, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's from the black owned company. This is a black clothing company. I don't remember what I got, but. Oh, I got a gray bodysuit. A halter neck bodysuit, a gray one. And um, this is good because in the winter time I can just wear this with some Uggs or some boots. And yeah, I got that. And then I got this one. This is black and white. A dress? A bodysuit, another bodysuit. First thoughts, it looks really sheer, but it feels super soft. I hope it's long enough because I'm really tall and most pants and jumpsuits just do not fit me unless I buy them. And the tall, tall section or the inseam has to be at least, at least 33 inches, at least. Just for it to hit like my, my ankle. I've been ordering a ton of clothes from black owned boutiques and companies. So let me know if you guys like a haul of those things. Um, I think it's called Native. Yeah, that's about it. We have not really done much. We just all got in the car this morning and just did a bunch of business runs. The kids stayed in the car in their pajamas, hair messy and everything. And Chris did all his business runs. What did I get done today? I got a lot of emails done today. This step closer to signing contracts for my business. So I'm excited to get started on my projects and show them to you all. I think you all kind of know what it is, um, but it is just so me. Yeah, can't wait to share more. Hopefully Chris and I will be able to film our talk tomorrow. I got a sitter, y'all, but she's not really dependable. She counsels on me the day of every single time. Oh, and I probably am going to just homeschool the kids myself. So if you guys, yes. I wanna see Iris' hair, look at it. He's about to get his hair washed. My neck is killing me. You want some chin chin? Say hi guys. Hi guys. You wanna share your chin chin with them? Say yes. Yes. Can you say some, please? Alfie. Show them your hair. Is it messy? No, it's not messy. We got this. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Get some. Some, not that many. Just a little. Okay. Good job. Delicious. We love it so much. <laughs> is it crunchy? Hi, Chrissy. Chin chin. Chin chin. Okay, they don't want to see that. Yeah, my neck is paining me. I know I haven't filmed a powdering video, but I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try to find time this week to film one. I need a massage. Okay, I need a massage. It's really hard for me to sit and film without looking ugly in the face. So, but yeah, I'm gonna get a video filmed this week. Hopefully you'll have it next week for our makeup day. I forgot to tell you guys, I'm probably gonna homeschool the kids myself. Um, just really have not had the best luck with these interviews and these teachers. Cause I get the most questions about my nails. Um, this entire quarantine, every nail that you've been seeing me wear has been press-ons. These are press-ons. So I wanted to show it on the vlog so I won't have to mention it again. 
but I get my nails from T Nail Bar. You can find her on Instagram. She does kids press-ons, she does adult press-ons, everything is custom. You send her a design you want, the shape, the length, and she gets it done. So these are Isla's. Put a clip of Isla wearing them. She just plays in them in the house. They come with these little stickers and she'll apply, I mean, she always attaches a glue and a cuticle stick, but this is Isla's second set. I'll show you guys her first set. Oh yeah, and she always supplies a, a bow. Okay, and then these are some of my sets. There was three, this is one of the sets. Oh, and these glow in the dark. Your press-ons glow in the dark? Don't talk to me then. So this is a set. They last for two weeks. I have not had any troubles um, keeping them on for two weeks. This is my my shorter set, coffin shaped, of course. I have the little Louis V designs. Then I have this set. Then I have this set. So moral of the story, you can never have too many press-ons, okay? And I'm not going to sit in any nail shops to get my nails done. So you guys check out T Nail Bar on Instagram. She is Chicago based, but she ships everywhere. So yeah, we went to college together. So she's like one of my A1s, day one A1s. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this vlog. I am about to go read a little bit while Isla finishes up her tutoring and I'll see y'all tomorrow probably. I'm doing an Instagram giveaway, so be sure to go check out my Instagram. I'll leave it here. Check out my Instagram. I'm giving away the Fenty skincare, the three step set, the cleanser, the toner, and the moisturizer. That'll be on my Instagram page. Go check it out. Hopefully I'll have the picture up by the time this vlog goes up, okay? So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. So today, we're gonna go, I have to first make a run to the office. I know this is odd how I'm sitting, but I'm taking out the kids' car seats because I need my car washed so bad. It's so filthy. It's too filthy to even show you. I'm so embarrassed by it. But first, we're going to go to the office. I have to drop off some things, some supplies, paper, all of this stuff. Is that a fly? Oh, that's a fly in my car. No, get it. Because I'll end up crashing, trying to kill a bug. And yeah, I like to empty out my car completely, so then it's less work for them to do, and I like them to clean thoroughly. So I clean out my car of all the car seats and every anything extra, and in hopes that it makes their job easier. Kids are, the babysitter came today. Gosh, Ira has Play-Doh, man. Okay, this is gonna be really hard, so I'll pull you up when I'm back in the car. Okay, we are in the car. Um, everything is all cleaned out for them to clean, clean. I do have to say it's a little bit embarrassing to admit, but I have not had my car cleaned this entire quarantine. We've been on lockdown since like March and yeah, I just, my car is a mess. It needs some TLC. Oh yeah, I'm coming up on a year of having it and I kind of want to try her in. I want something else. I'm one of those people who I get bored with things pretty fast, but yeah. I'm thinking about trading this in. Oh man, that was a bad accident. I pray that they are okay. Sorry guys, I have to say a quick prayer. Anytime I pass an accident, I always pray for whoever's involved. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the park, drop this stuff off, take my car to get a car wash, T-T-Y-L. Okay guys, we are at the car wash now. It's a really long line. It's super busy because I guess today is so nice out. Um, we're gonna get the Supreme wash. We need the inside and the outside. Hello. How you doing? How well, doing? I'm gonna do the Supreme. All right. Air Yes. I like the new car. Exactly. 
Can you pull up on that side for me? Yep. Can I move that garbage can for you? No, I got it. He said, can you need me to move that garbage can? No, sir. I got this. Okay guys, just got the car wash. It's so clean. I'll show you when I can. Um, it smells really good too. I'm so close to it. I might as well run to Best Buy really quick. I really want to get a camera stand so I can start filming more inside the car and talk to you guys while I'm driving. So yeah, we're going to go to Best Buy first and then um, go get the kids some lunch. Oh, my car smells so good. She's so cute. I'm about to show y'all like she cute. Her name is Ghost. She's a girl, but her name is Ghost because she looked real like dark and mysterious. They did a really good job. Normally, I always have to tell them like, excuse me, can I get somebody to come wipe this down? But this time they did me pretty good. It's crazy. When I pay more, they don't do a good job. But when I get one under, they did much, much better. So that's cool, I guess. I'm not wearing anything on my face today besides sunscreen and some Vaseline on the lips. Yeah, so let's run in and try to get us a car stand for this camera. And BRB, we're at Best Buy. We gotta hurry to, it's 1.30. Let me just find out, I figured out how to put up my camera stand by myself. We're gonna be able to film while we drive. Because y'all are new to my car, here are the rules. We always listen to turned up music, always. Okay, no exception. But when the kids are in the car, they will never see our ratchet size. So we have an entire playlist for the kids. Um, this is my kiddos playlist. It's their little picture and all of their little songs. So that's what plays when they are in the car. But when they're not in the car, oh, we get ratchet. I like all music, minus country. Y'all are gonna be able to see the kids now, Chris now. We might be on to something. And then this crook in my neck is making it no better, you know? Yeah, that Best Buy stop was not completely pointless. So I just, I forgot to say this. Let me clear this up. I figured out the camera stand that I've had for over a year now. I figured out how to work it. It has to be stuck to glass instead of the dashboard. Dang, we even going over speed bumps and she likes sturdy. Oh, and what else did I need to tell you guys? I really want some Popeyes, so I think that's where we're gonna go to Popeyes. I got 30 minutes. Summer Walker, tonight. No, body. We got on the track. I've been, I'm talking crazy. I need you right in my space. Said I. This is a new one, but a good one. SWV Summer Walker. Don't say ain't teaching none. It's a bedroom song. Hello, I'm going to have your five whole wings, the combo, all right, matter of fact, mild, what's your side, fries. And what's your drink? Lemonade. Anything else? Yes, and then I'm also gonna have your five chicken tender combo. Mild. What's your size? Um, fries for that as well. And what's the drink? The drink is the fruit punch. Can I have the black and wrench for the dipping sauce? Uh huh. And we have an extra side for a dollar. The um, mashed potatoes. Anything else? That's all. Total 2118. Thank you. Uh -huh. yeah. hey, may I have some honey, please? Yeah. So wait, let me tell y'all this one time. I came here, I ordered a lot of stuff because I was ordering stuff for the office. And I asked for honey. I don't eat Popeye's chicken without honey. The girl was like, I gave you a honey with an attitude. The kids weren't in the car, I was by myself. 
She said, huh. And she grabs two more honeys. Damn. The damn is what took me. I said, baby, I will snatch you out that window. This is the edited version. Faster than you can say the next damn. I'm so sorry the manager apologized, but homegirl was about to get these hands. I'm always respectful to people and I get it. People, I believe I, anytime people have a bad day or have attitudes, I sometimes say, well, I hope your day is better. Like, you know, everybody's entitled to a bad day, but what we won't tolerate is rudeness and disrespect. Okay. Hey guys. So I know I didn't vlog much today like at all and I know I look oily because I completely forgot to do my primer when I was getting ready today but um today tonight tonight it's not even day anymore I'm gonna use the Fenty skincare to get unready and thought I show you guys I know they claim that this is a face wash and a makeup removal but I like to first always oil cleanse first so this is the Tatcha Pure One Stop Camilla Cleansing Oil. That's dead. Four is my favorite number, so I go in with four pumps. And I use this just to loosen up my makeup. And this stuff gets it off, off. I wonder if my eyelids will be stained from this red eyeshadow. We shall see. I did film this red look, so stay on the lookout for that. You'll probably get this vlog first. And then I like to go in with my Neutrogena makeup wipes. And I know people say wipes are harsh for the skin and causes wrinkles, but I really like these wipes because they're not drying or feeling like they're tugging my skin. They may be tugging my skin, but I don't feel like that. And if it ain't broke, what we fixing it for? And even for a full face of makeup, I usually only use one. Chris isn't wearing a shirt, otherwise he would come say hey. Okay, so this is the Fenty Cleanser slash Makeup Removal. Face Cleanser and Makeup Removal. Looks like this. It lathers up really good. And my face isn't even wet. Okay, let me rinse. So let's test this out on camera. So I definitely still have eyeliner on, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, that's the Pat McGrath. Definitely still have on a lot of makeup. Maybe if I use my facial brush, it might be better. Does that look like I make a remove with you? I don't know, maybe if we wash it again with it, should we go in with a second round? Look, the directions don't say two rounds, so. I know she. it feels soft. I do love the way it makes my skin feel. I'm gonna go in with the, the Fat Water Slash Toner Serum. I really can't show you because this is like more runny. I'll try. That's it. And re repress this into the skin, so that's what I do. I'm definitely going to wash my face again in the morning and see if it looks better. Then I'm going in with the moisturizer slash SPF. I think she said hers is SPF 25. And I put three pumps. And I love how you can do this. So cute. And it gives me like that gray cast in the beginning, but then it like blends in. 
Not gray, but like this purpley tone. Usually I would do this in the shower. So after that, tying up my hair. This is the skin, tying my hair up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. About to go shower. Mm -mm, that's tight on my edges. Yeah, pull your braids down so they're not tight when you tie your hair. Okay, that's better. Okay. See you guys tomorrow night night. Hey guys. Um, I know it looks like I'm wearing the same thing, but I'm wearing a different shirt. Well, I wore orange one more other time in this vlog. Not a lot. I'm being dramatic. But this is one of my subscribers' brands. Her name is Dynasty. Check her out on Instagram. I'll put her Instagram handle somewhere up in here. So right now I'm cleaning the kitchen because it's a hot mess. We got dishes in the sink. Got Chris's dishes on the, on the stove. We got the kids. Dirty eating area. Look at all these crumbs on the floor. Their table's a little messy. Yes. So uh, I can help you, mommy. Yeah, you want to help? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was going to help. I took the trash out already and just hung it right there because I'm going to take that trash out. And yeah, clean this up. This is where I sit and edit usually. Get this kitchen in order and then I'm going to do the kids' hair. I'm going to hurry up and clean the kitchen. I'm not going to film me cleaning the kitchen um, because I'm in a rush. But I'll show you that after. And I'm going to do the kids' hair. And then I'm going to go and wax Chris. We're going to do his wax tonight. I, I personally wax him myself. So, yeah, wish him luck with my claws on. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to let him vlog while he gets his wax. So. Okay, guys. Kitchen is all clean. Island is clean. Sink is clean. Dishes are in the dishwasher. Kids' table is clean for the most part. He's always eating. And, yeah, we got a clean kitchen now. So next, the kids are in the bathtub, but once they get out, I'm about to do their hair. So Isla got her hair done. You want to show them? Yes, it's just like mommy's. Turn to the back so they can see. Shake them. You can shake them. You can move them. They're still drying, but she has her little twist done. Wow, they're so long. Okay. I love it. I love it. I know y'all are wondering, where is Ira's hair? Well, I'm gonna insert the picture. Of, he fell asleep before we got done. She's about to have a late night snack and then go brush her teeth and get ready for bed. What cereal. are you eating? What are you eating for your snack? Cereal. Which cereal? Um, Cheerios with honey. Okay. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, we're not doing much today. We're just chillaxing, you know, chilling, relaxing. Yeah. Um, Sundays are just our wind down days and days that I clean and do laundry and create my schedule for the week and just reflect, you know? I think the last part I left off on was you guys were supposed to see me wax Chris. That's probably going to be in the next vlog because I have yet to wax him. After I did the kids hair, I showered and we just watched a movie, but that'll be in the next vlog. I, I am going to vlog it. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. This past month has been so fun and fulfilling for me. I missed so much. I didn't realize how much I missed it, but I miss my beauty content and fashion content. So I am so happy to just have that back on my channel. I know you all really love the family vlogs. You'll always have a vlog, but I just wanted to say thank you for just supporting my journey and everything that I do, everything that we do. You, I feel like I just can never say thank you enough. Um, every Sunday up until the day that I start with their homeschooling, I'm gonna create lesson plans for them, weekly lesson plans and stick to those. So follow me on this homeschooling journey. I'll keep you posted on how it's going. 
I know a lot of moms mentioned in the last vlog that they are also homeschooling. So if you are homeschooling, I do want to recommend, I don't know if you guys know about this site. My friend told me about it. I didn't know about it. Education.com. Um, it's a really cool site that'll build like where you can map out lesson plans, do worksheets, um, math, science, some of everything. So that's what I've been using to create the kids' lesson plans. I am excited to do this homeschooling. Um, pray for me because <laughs> I don't need it. I usually use the Fenty Gloss Bomb, but this is nice. This stuff is really good. It's really nice and moisturizing. Um, that was random, I know. Um, I'm editing right now and realize I didn't close out the vlog. Did you really just do that? Just I really you. hope y'all heard that. Chris is so nasty. Say excuse me. <laughs> but um, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. And yeah, we'll see you guys next week. And stay tuned for Chris getting his wax. I'm not waxing. Oh. This nail! Okay, I'm not going.